What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be talking Android and Chromebook optimization with Google Playbooks by talking about how to create a shelf. The goal is to produce more videos like this to increase coverage of Google hardware and software. We also have some new Pixel devices coming out towards the end of the year, one of them being the Google Pixel Fold, which I'm most excited about. Covering Google related optimization seems the best way to lean into these future announcements. Now, this is also an exciting way to dive into Google's hardware and software to give you tips and tricks to improve your experiences. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or use. Now, this means the content is not sponsored. So if you could like, share or subscribe, that's a free way to support us. Don't have time to watch the whole video. We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now for starters, Google Playbooks can be used on Android or Chromebooks. Now in my opinion, Google Playbooks looks best on a two-in-one Chromebook or a tablet because of the realistic book size and easier viewing. However, we'll be performing this tutorial on the Google Pixel 5 since smartphones are what we carry around the most. So here we are at the home page of the Google Playbooks app. Now this layout looks good, but it can be further personalized and organized with shelves. Now on the bottom of the home page, we have a navigation bar with items home, library, and shop. To access the shelf page, we're going to tap on library. Now this brings up a new page with navigation bar at the top, which features your books, shelves, and series. And you can see that we defaulted to the shelf page according to this navigation panel. So again, here we are at the shelves page and you can see that it's most optimal for personalizing and organizing your content. Now, as you can see, I am a sci-fi fan. That being said, I recommend Cyberpunk and Altered Carbon. Now, these are dramatic sci-fi stories that take place in a high-tech dystopian future. Now, the Cyberpunk series has a growing list of available comics and, of course, a video game to pair with it. Now, Altered Carbon is available as a book also and a Netflix series which has unfortunately been discontinued. Now, personally, I like genres like this because it stimulates creative thinking and conversation of what we think the future will be like. So let's talk more about how to create a shelf. Towards the bottom of the page, we'll have a blue icon titled Create New and we'll tap on it. Now, this brings up a new page where we can create a name for our shelf. I named my shelf Sci-Fi. Now, once the shelf is created, we can add our books. Now, to do so, we can tap on the back arrow in the top left-hand corner. Now, this brings us back to the shelves page. Now, using the navigation bar at the top, we can tap on your books. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can press and hold on a book, and that will bring up a pop-up window with a list of options. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can then tap on add to shelf. Next, we can find the shelf we wish to add the book to. And again, we're going to click on sci-fi and then you're going to see it's going to add that book to the sci-fi shelf and it's going to close the pop-up window. Now, the good thing here is you can't add duplicate items, which is a plus. It just cuts down on excessive clutter. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process. We're going to add a few more books just to demonstrate what's going on here. Now, once our books have been added, we can tap on shelves and then we're going to look for our new shelf, Sci-Fi. We're going to tap on that. You can see that it opens up that shelf titled Sci-Fi and all the books that we added will be right here. Now we can also change the view of this shelf. Right now we are in grid view, but if we tap on the view option, it can change it to list. And if we tap on it again, it brings us back to grid. Now shelves can also be renamed and deleted by tapping on the three dots in the top right hand corner. And it's going to bring up a pop-up menu where you can rename the shelf or delete it. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. 
The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.